Two most welcome back. So I just brought this topic up in the group the other day, and it was, what was your time in life where you had to go into the cave, where you had to go into that dark basement, that metaphorical basement of isolation and a bit of suffering and maybe even uh, depression, because I think that this is a part of a man's life that not many people acknowledge. There's a lot of man men that are currently in this phase where they're lonely and they're working a job that they absolutely hate they're coming home they're playing games they don't have any friends they're lost they don't know what to do i was here before all right when my parents died i was alone i went to a place i started watching freaking king of the hill dude like going to a night shift job coming back home no one to hang out with no girlfriend watching King of the Hill playing some, uh, you know, some bullshit game. Hey, Bobby, you know, just come on. What the fuck? This is no way for a young man to spend his life. So I decided to make a change, dude. But during this is my sort of first time of going into that cave. And I realized I learned a lot. Like I learned that I learned a lot during that time. I remember I, I would spend time reading. I read like all of Robert Greene's books, 48 Laws of Power, Seduction. I read the 33 Strategies of War. And uh, these were just a few, you know, I would spend the nights I started to read. I started to go on walks late at night and just to think. I realized the value of this, this time. And I came out of that. And then I got a job a little further down the road in sales. And this is my second time. Because I, I, I started going, I started working the sales job, I started to have a mentor, this sort of apprenticeship that taught me these valuable sales skills, dealing with people, socializing, working with a computer and, and, and logging this info and learning how to greet customers and close a deal and get over those nerves that come from trying to sell something. But again, it was, it was that time, you know, shortly after that I quit and I quit for about a year. And I went back into the cave, man. And I, um, I think that every, every time that you are in this period of life where you're sort of leaving behind society in the modern world, what's happening is a blessing. It's a, it's a blessing. But you have to look at it like that. And a lot of guys don't look at it like that. They look at it like, oh, I'm down, I'm miserable, this is it. No, this is a time that life is trying to teach you that you are completely responsible that you have to take risks. Like seriously, this is the time in your life, life is gonna show you that everything, anything that you want, it's up to you, man. And like, I, I and the, you see this in the hero's journey, and you can see this in many movies. The, the hero's journey, the hero of the story is called to an adventure, but he refuses that call. He wants to stay home under his blankets, living with mama. He wants to just be comfortable, and then, you know, there's that reluctancy to answer the call. He answers the call and he goes out into the unknown. And he has this period of isolation, usually in the in the wilderness, usually in the desert. You know, you can think of uh, Paul Atreides from Dune. Usually in the forest. And that's where he meets his mentor, like King Arthur, uh, meeting uh, uh, Archimedes, you know. And um, you have this mentorship. But when you're in that dark forest... And you're alone with only you and God and your mind and your thoughts. This is a time where you come with a philosophy. And when you enter the real world, that's what you, you bring back with you. The, the, the plight of man is that we're having all these guys that are alone in the forest, in the dark forest. And they're not developing their own philosophy and honing their mind and reading the books and honing the body and becoming powerful. And it's, a, it's sad because when they get back into the real world, they don't know how to handle it because they're not ready. They're not ready to seize the opportunities and meet the mentor. They're not ready for any of this. They're just like, their mind has become, I've called it this, the, it's a demon. And it's got them right where it wants them. They're not able to, to have that godly mind and to embrace, you know, step out and, and to acknowledge what's in front of them. And so listen, if you're going through this dark period of your life, realize you need to use this time, be wise with this gift that God has given you. When you come back into the real world, that's what you're supposed to do is bring something from this cave, bring something to the light, 
bring it with you. Step out into their in, into that light with all the power. And so it, that's the way to live, man. I'm telling you, you guys are you're in a great place right now. This too shall pass. One thing I've learned from all the ups and downs, the trials and the tribulations, is that it all works out. Like it, it seriously all works out. The the goal for you, the 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 war within you, is to keep your mind right. Okay. Keep your mind right. Keep showing up day in and day out. It's going to work out. All right? But use the time you have now. Let's get to work. Hi, Thumos. Peace.